Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is really exciting because I've released a new collection as part of my jewellery line. Um, and I've actually filmed this before. Like I tried to put together a different video where I was chatting about it and everything and I feel like it just didn't, it wasn't like what I wanted. So I'm sitting down again to do this. <laughs> again and share with you like the collection and what made me choose Copenhagen and um, I just want it to be really laid back chatty got some behind the scenes footage from the shoot day that we did for the collection so before I get going on the collection and everything I'm gonna insert that footage now because I feel like it's really it's always really fun to see you know like everything that goes on during the shoot. There's just like some funny clips in there and it was such a good day there were so many laughs so I'm gonna put that footage in now. What was your highlight? Um, what was your highlight? I like the strutting. <laughs> Cut to. I hope you liked that footage. It was so funny looking back at it. Yeah, I've been working on this collection for months and months, like the best part of the year. But the shapes are a lot more minimal, paired back, um, like more simplistic. Such a good collection to like pair with any, like any of your other jewelry that you have. Like what I thought would be such a nice sort of counterpart to the Ibiza collection of this year was this sort of style of jewelry. And it just felt like, and when I was thinking of places, like Copenhagen came to mind instantly like there's so many places that I love honestly in the world but Copenhagen somewhere that I went last year and I've I went this year too um and even from such short trips there I have so many lovely and like really strong memories from because I mean first of all before I visited Copenhagen I'd wanted to go there for years like literally if you can go back on my channel I've been mentioning <laughs> Copenhagen and Danish like lifestyle and and design and things like that years ago so it's just somewhere that I'm really like attracted to anyway and then uh, when I went I loved it from my first trip I have memories of being with Indy too which is so, just so lovely like I went on a solo trip in January or February this year just before Covid and um, yeah that's where I was a bit more like oh do you know what I could really I get like even more inspiration from this place. I wanted the pieces to reflect Copenhagen in the way that um, it's very effortless, carefree, at the same time really nicely curated. I feel like they have that delicate balance of like putting together the most the sickest outfits <laughs> but looking like they've just thrown stuff on like in the morning like it's so effortless and it's like bringing a bit of that scandy style into your outfit i'm just going to show you each piece show it on how it looks on too firstly is this necklace which i have not i literally only took it off uh this morning because what was i doing i think i did a workout so i took it off and i was sad <laughs> so i've got this little I say little and Indy's always like, it's not little, it's little. <laughs> but yeah, very simple, very, it actually catches the light so nicely too. 
because it's such a large surface area, even though it's still quite small, but it's quite a large surface area that catches the light. So it glints quite a lot when you're wearing it. And sometimes I'll just catch it in um, reflections, like glinting at me. So I love that because it makes it feel, because I love that it feels like a little bar of gold. That's what I really like. So when you, when you catch it glinting at you too, it's like you're just wearing a little treasure, like a little bar of gold. So, so that is the Dylan necklace these earrings oh my god these earrings like i love doing designs that are, are quite like maybe you haven't seen them before they're quite unusual but also still re really wearable but if people see them on you then then they're like oh that's interesting you know I, that's just my that's my jet these earrings i'll obviously show you a little close up they go in just your normal you know ear piercing but then they hook over your ear here so that it looks like you it almost looks like you've got another piercing here in your cartilage which i love like and then especially if you do have other piercings up here it just makes it look like you've got this you know like whole um ear candy um look going on and because of the way it hoops around it's like is threaded through a second piercing but you obviously don't have to have a second piercing it literally just sits in there and it's very light it's not heavy on the ear at all you can also adjust it slightly if you wanted to like we made it so that it has a slight slight give if you needed to make it a little bit bigger for your ear in the way that it loops around um but it's still it is super sturdy it does not move easily um but it does have that tiny bit of give if you wanted to adjust it. These are the Runa earrings. And these are just so unique. I'm so happy about it. I also have so much fun picking out all the names. Like I have to love every single name. <laughs> like I, I think about it for so long. So Runa felt right for these. It just goes with them. The other earrings in the collection are these, these hoops that I'm wearing. So these are called the Ida hoops. Very simple, very wearable, everyday light hoops. Um, the size, like I didn't want to go too big with the size. I feel like with in other collections I've gone a bit bigger with earrings because I tend to wear bigger like standout earrings but then sometimes you're not in the mood, you know, you just want something simple and also something that you can layer with and I, you know, always love layering on my ear. So um yeah very comfortable to wear um and you know me i love things that are slightly like you know not just a simple hoop i mean i couldn't do that i had to make it <laughs> i really wanted it to have this nice organic curve to it and i feel like that just reflects the inspiration i had from looking at danish jewelry design too is that it has that like organic feel to it in quite a different way to what we did with the um, Ibiza collection. Yeah, so these are the Ida hoops. Ooh, there's this chain, which I am in love with. This is the Copenhagen chain, just a simple name. So this, like I think, this I wanted to layer with the, nicely with the Dylan necklace. And obviously I'm gonna do close-ups, but you can also go onto the website for all close-up pictures and everything. Um, also, all of these pieces are available in silver too, because I know some of you guys like silver too, and so do I. It just depends what mood I'm in. Um, so yeah, this is the Copenhagen chain. Um, it's got such a nice weight to it too. Like, mm. <laughs> it feels good. These rings are just some of my favorites. Like, oh, I'm so in love. Like, they're... <sighs> so these two rings, so we have the Alma ring, which is, so it's a very simple band ring. I am actually gonna get myself a few more and I'm gonna wear them on all like different fingers, different sizes. I wanna get one in small too to wear um, up here on my hand. I think that would look amazing. Um, but yeah, this would also look so nice as a thumb ring. Like really, really simple. But I was also really specific on the width for this because I didn't want it to be too dainty where you can't see it. Didn't want it to, didn't want it to be too wide um, so that it's uncomfortable. Um, and I think it's perfect. I'm so happy. And then next is the Nora ring, which is very, very similar to this one, but it's, it's kind of like three band rings stacked on top of each other. So it looks as if you've layered jewelry up already. It does that job for you. Um, but I especially love wearing, oh, 
this one with the Alma. So like on one finger, either next to each other or on the same. Like, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, or like, for example, they complement each other so well. Also, the width for Nora, um, I didn't want to be too wide because I know with some wide rings, um, it could just get a bit uncomfortable when you're closing your hand. Um, sometimes they get in the way, so I made this so it's not that wide, that it, it's annoying when you're moving your hand around. I know that sounds funny maybe, but to me, like, I'm quite particular about stuff like that, like how, how jewellery feels. So yeah, I made it to be really comfortable too. Two ear cuffs. I love an ear cuff, they're so easy, they're just so easy and they add such a nice edge to your look. So we have this one which is called the Axel cuff, um, so this is very, it's a lot smaller, it's kind of a bit of a, it's almost like a huggy sort of size, you know the small piercings that just hug like most ones I've seen as actual earrings but um, this one I wanted to, yeah, be a bit of a cuff huggy, yeah, so there we go really secure like it feels really secure it's not going to go anywhere like literally look because <laughs> i know some people worry about the ear cuffs but this is really secure i wanted this to have this kind of um to be really angular so it has that really nice edgy sort of look but it's not you know it's nothing too too much and then the other ear cuff is the alma ear cuff this matches the ring but this is like a double band. So the ring is a triple band, the cuff is a double band, as if you've stacked two hoops together in the cuff. Yeah, so the Alma cuff is bigger, it sits a little bit lower down. Do you know what I really wanted this to do? Look as if um, you've got a, I mean, I've got a piercing in the middle, sort of back of my ear. I can't remember what it's called now, is it maybe conch? Um, I wanted this cuff to almost mimic as if you have that piercing and that is going through your ear um because i thought that looks sick and or you can just put it a bit lower down it's just like cute cuff for some reason i feel like this collection in particular just lends itself really nicely to silver too like i have obviously all of the pieces also in silver so i'm going to be taking more photos and everything in the silver pieces too to show you guys how everything looks um in this finish, like look, love. That's how I really like to wear them too. I love them. <laughs> so that's my Copenhagen collection and I hope you guys liked this little chat through and like the collection. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite piece is. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see jewelry wise um, in the future. Cause it's, it's so amazing to be able to have your like thoughts and feedback or like dream pieces. And you know, I can like see what I can do. I'll obviously put the website down below. Also, I'm so glad that I got in that Copenhagen trip just before COVID and lockdown and everything. That's so lucky. In case anyone wondered, my lip color is Huda Beauty Lip Liner in um, Spice Girl. And my top is from Zara. I'm gonna go. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll be back soon. Um, hopefully with a vlog. I know you guys are really wanting to see some normal vlogs. They're coming. I just need to be in the right mindset. So I've just, just been trying to get there. Um, and I also have some fashion content coming up too. I just didn't want to over fashion you guys, you know, <laughs> overhaul. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.